Okay, guys, let's start. People are still joining, but we'll start. We have waited for three minutes, three, four minutes. Can you guys see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, great. So this is how I have created a storage account. Uh, I, I was being uh, a bit rusty with those options because we have already covered them. So I hope uh, no one has questions on them that soft delete and everything. I have explained it in detail in previous session. I, I hope you guys have clear understanding on that. Anyone who did not understand, please let me know, but watch the recording first. If you have missed the session, watch the recording. After watching the recording also, if the concept is not clear, then ask me. I'll obviously explain it again. Don't worry about it. I'll definitely explain it. Okay, so this is how you create your storage account and you go to your resources. Again, you can go to resources uh, from storage listing. Okay. Or you can simply click on go to resource and you can come here like this. Okay, now under uh, this one in the storage account, you have table, you have queues, you have file share and containers. Mostly we'll be working on containers. Only one practical I have to show you for file share. Queues will not work on that. It's purely for MS Exchange and Outlook and everything, those kind of services. Table, I have already explained it to you. Any doubt till here, guys, to anyone? Good. Okay, so you guys are clear with table, right? That if I if, if you want to access this table, if you want to access this table, what should I do if you want to access this table, guys? How can I share it with you? Uh, by the and way, one, one thing, one thing, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt. One, one thing, whenever you go to uh, the actual environment, uh, live environment, you will never see one storage account or a company ne table, a cube, a file share, a container. Bhi. Though option is there. But in li live environment, how it happens, even if I have to create one table, I will ask the administrator of, of cloud to create one storage account for me. And in that storage account, I will use only table. I won't even use container, file share, queues, nothing. Similarly, if I want to use queue, I'll create a new table, a new storage account altogether. Understood? And why do we uh, follow this process? Uh, security, easy to access, easy to handle. Queues ka requirement kuch aur sakta hai. Tables ka requirement kuch aur sakta hai. Right? So I do not want to jumble. In in live environment, okay. you will always see like this. Not only for storage. Uh, aapka resource group bhi. Chhoti chhoti service ke liye ek alag resource group bana diya hoga. Kisi bhi cheez ke liye ek alag vnet bana dete hai wo log pura. That is the reason we break up the virtual network. Taki hum chhote chhote networks use karenge, but multiple karenge. And how it helps, why it helps. The smaller than uh, the infrastructure is, it's, it's better to uh, understand, better to govern, better to uh, you know work with that. Or agar kuch hack so, wagera hota bhi hai, to wo limited portion hack hoga. Corrupt hota hai, to wo limited portion corrupt hoga. And it's, it's not only with Azure, AWS, GCP. You go to on-prem, be it anywhere. Live environment mein kabhi bhi ab as a khichdi type ka jo hai na, ye nahi dekhoge. You'll never see that. That, that there is one virtual network, usi mein development, usi mein production, usi mein test, wahi par Pune ke users, usi mein Mumbai ke users, sab kuch, everything in one place, you will never ever see that. Is it clear, guys, to everyone? Yes, sir. Right. So while practicing or while explaining, kabhi aisa mat bol dena ki, haa, yaar, ek storage account tha, usme maine file share bhi banaya, usi mein maine queue bana diya, I created a table there, I created five containers over there, don't say this. They will catch it that you have never worked, so practice karke aayin. I'm not saying it doesn't work. It will work fine. It works fine. It is technically possible. It is available. And I have already created. See, in this practice session, you will see a container here. You will see a file share here. You will see a table here. But we are practicing. But in live environment, you will never see this. Clear to everyone, guys? Yes, sir. So now, if I want to give you guys access to this table, how can I do that? What are the methods? You can share the URL. Which URL? Uh, the table URL, which is uh, given over here. Okay, and how will you use this? Okay, let's see. I'm sharing it. Let me know if you can see the table. I'll just make an entry to this table. Make an entry, and I'll come to know that you have make uh, you have uh, added an entry to this. Uh, 
Am I sharing my tables access key with you? Is it my tables access key, or is it my storage account access key? I I told you right. Okay, कभी आपको ऐसा नहीं दिखेगा. But in my case, I have my container also here, and I don't want you guys to see my container. I have some secrets here, maybe in this container, some other client, some other project. I don't want you to access my container. If I share this access key, what do you think? You guys will have access to containers also, file share, and everything, or only table? Let Let's do that. it will be easier for you how many of you have a storage explorer installed already guys yeah i have but i am not logged in please log in then yes okay no you don't don't log in what do you mean by login with your storage uh, with your I azure account i have not connected my resource group yeah no, no don't connect see see i am i am treating you as an end user i don't even expect you to have an azure account you don't have an azure account okay don't connect anything you don't have an azure account Okay. Here, you do not have any as your account. This is how it should look. Let me log off from all of this, and I'll show it to you. How how should it look? Or even even if you have, don't log in. All of you have uh, account and everything, but don't log in here. This is how it should look. If you already have a user account and you have some access. I won't even ask you to install Microsoft Azure Storage Explorer. I'll simply give you access, and I'll tell you, yeah, you come to this one and access it from here directly, right? This is we are doing for people who do not have Azure account and people जिनको आप लोग नहीं देना चाहते हो आप लोगों के portal का access. These are let's say vendors. आप कोई ये survey करवा रहे हो कुछ करवा रहे हो आपके पास बहुत सारा data आ गया है and you are hiring some freshers, some college students, कुछ इस तरह के लोगों को. do you want to give your uh, portal access to them no, no. you simply want no. to give them access to explicitly on need to know basis whatever it's required for them to work right so what do you want a key storage account name and a key here it is this is storage account name and this is the key can you guys see it Uh, I'm sending it in Zoom chats. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, sir. who was that? Navid. Navid, by it was you, right? Or sorry, Hussein. Yes. Hussein, you said uh, that if I don't yeah, use yeah. API, I won't be able to use this storage account using my application, right? Yeah. Okay. So that that's not the true. That that's not a correct statement. Even if I don't use APIs at all, completely not using it, and still I want to use my storage account, this is what I you I can use connection string. i can copy this connection string i can give it to the developer and developer can use it in their code somewhere here let's say that uh, some application i'm writing and i have some code here here it is and here maybe i'm writing a new module that there should be a connectivity and where should be the connectivity connectivity should be there in azure account what which is your account maybe here somewhere here you can paste that connection string and this is how your application can access your storage account clear you, you don't have to worry yeah. about it ki yahan par kaha jayega kaise ye hoga you simply have to share your job is just to share the connection string with the developer team that's all how to use it it's there hectic clear hai so that option was just for the if the API. client is you have uh, yeah it's it is using api api right Yeah. उसी के नीचे एक एक्सेस की वाला था अब आपका कोई ऐसा स्टोरेज अकाउंट है जिसमें कोई एक्सेस की की जरूरत ही नहीं पड़ने वाली आई शो इट टू यू के आई जस्ट टोल यू राइट एक इमेज वाला है कंटेनर है इमेज वाला उसमें आपको ये एक्सेस की वगैरह की जरूरत नहीं पड़ेगी आई शो इट टू यू नाउ तो वहां पर मे बी वो की वाला भी आप अनचेक रख सकते हो बट एज ऑफ नाउ लेट्स ट्राई कनेक्टिंग दिस सो यू गाइस हैव माय स्टोरेज अकाउंट नेम एंड यू गाइस हैव माय की राइट सो गो टू योर स्टोरेज एक्सप्लोरर click here on this plug sign 
which will let you connect. Are you guys doing it? How many of you are doing it with me? Yeah, I, I am doing it. Hussain, you're doing it more. I Nawaz, you're doing it. I am also. No, Murtaza. So Murtaza. I, need help, I need help downloading the Explorer. I'm trying to download the Explorer. Mac or Windows? Windows. 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 I shared the so, link in on WhatsApp. Yeah, Let me see. I, if I, I opened it in the browser, but then uh -huh. uh, I'm not getting the option where, where it says download the file, like download the URL or something. That's what. Okay. Salman, you are doing it. Anyone, anyone else? I'm sending it to you, sir. Okay. Can, can you share your screen? Okay, let's, let's do that later. Sir. Okay. I'm sure you will cover it. We'll do that later. How if do you don't get it, it's okay. Uh, later. Hmm. Sorry? How do we download the Explorer? Like, I'm trying to download it, but then where do I, like, how do I go about with the options? The option to download. I, I have shared a link to download it in WhatsApp group. Right. Last right, I opened the link. I clicked the link. I, uh, I accessed the link, but in the link, uh, how, like I'm not able to locate the option. Can you share your screen? Says... Can you share your screen? Sure. Sure. Let me stop sharing mine. Guys, you can also have a look at it. So, so we'll get a gist on how do we get it done. Guys. It's a simple just next next wizard. It's simply mm -hmm. how you install VLC player. It is as simple as that, but still we'll do it. Yeah, that is there, but where, where to go? I'll show it to you. Share your screen. Share your screen. If you're already sharing it, I can't see it. No, I'm sharing it. Uh, I'm just trying to... Okay, it's, yeah, it's up here. Okay. It's up here. It's already this there. See, the you, have, you have downloaded the exe file. Lower left-hand corner. Can you see? Bottom left-hand corner. Storage yes, Explorer so Windows. On. Click on that. Okay, storage Explorer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Okay, open. Yeah. Open. Okay. Are you using two screens? Two screens as multiple screens. Yeah, yeah. multiple multiple uh, browsers. Yes, multiple browsers. No, no, not browsers. It, it's only one screen you're using, right? Can you minimize yeah, the browser? Screen. Can you minimize the browser? Hmm. Only one screen. Yeah, that's okay. Minimize the browser. Hmm. Install so, for. I guess you just shared the Chrome browser window, not the uh, 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 operating. System yeah, so how do I share the entire screen? Like uh, in the you'll see an option there earlier. files, advanced, basic files, advanced. So Google Drive here it says basic and advanced on the top when I'm trying to share the screen. Set up initial mode, WhatsApp screen. Okay, now can you see the entire screen or no? Yes, can you can you minimize the browser? Okay, one second, yeah. Okay, install. Hmm. It's up to you if you want to install it for install. only you. Install for me only or install for all users. You. Okay. Up to you, whatever you want to select. Yes. Okay. So here it is. Microsoft accept. agreement. Okay. So I just accept, accept, and uh, the wizard install. is there. Uh, install. Install. Okay. Next. Okay. Next. 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 Okay. It's installing the file. Let it be. Let it be. We'll, we'll do it on your screen only. Let it be. Let it install okay. and we'll do the connectivity on your screen. Sure, sir. Anyone else, guys? Facing some issues to install it, download it. So, Elva, was, uh, was it a connection string or it was a SAS URL? This connection, connection string. No, no, the one which I shared, that is access key. No, no, not the SAS one. We are not even talking about SAS. So, Connection string, it's only for developers. Jo aapke application ke through aapka storage account access hoga. So, sole purpose. End user cannot use it. SAS, it's almost like an access key, but very granular. I'll, I'll come to that. First, let's do the practical step by step. First thing is using your access key. So let's do the access key. It's taking a little long. That's it's okay. Almost getting down. Yes, meanwhile, guys, anyone who could not able, uh, who, who was not able to do it, couldn't do it for any reason. Yeah, click on yes. finish. It will Wizard. launch automatically. Okay. 
click on the plug icon at the left hand side which will give you an option to connect uh, and, and click on the above option once just uh I didn't it will give you an option to sign in okay but we don't have to sign in here we are considering that you do not have any uh azure account right so you're not signing in any subscription am i did i ask you to uh attach a blog no is it a file share no what are we doing here storage account so click right. on storage account Connection how are we doing it is it key or sas url key. Connection or account Connection name and key. So what do we oh, have the first here? One. No, it's the account and name. account name and key we have. Third one. Third one. Next. Uh, Give display uh, name display whatever name. you want. Yeah. UD cloud. It's for your reference. Account name, the one which I shared. Copy and paste that in Zoom chat. Sorry. No, can you can you not copy paste? You won't be able to it's type the key. Oh yes. Okay. You you won't be able to type the key, right? You'll, you'll have to figure it out to copy paste. Okay. Paste it. Copy uh, paste. Now copy the account key and paste it here. Yes. Okay. Now, what is it? Is uh, it Azure this... China? Is it Azure government? What are we working on? Obviously, we're working on plain Azure. Right? Other, other or just normal Azure? No, no normal default, Azure. The default okay. setting. Default. Default. Then click on use HTTP. So it says not, not, not recommended, but we are using HTTP as of now. Click on next. Hmm. Click on next. Connect. Yeah, connect. Just connect. Here it is. Uh, now, can you explore that option, UT Cloud? Just uh, yeah. click on that arrow. No, below that, below that. Click on that arrow. Left, left side, me, arrow hai, UT Cloud. Ka. Mm -hmm. Open it more. The UT Cloud storage account. No, op open, open it more, more. UT, UT Cloud. Cloud. Yes, yes. UT Cloud key. Click on table. Drop containers file. Yeah, click on table. Expand it. Expand the table. Error details. If you cannot can show. You may open an issue story. GitHub site. Please include the detail below. Helpful. Unable to retrieve child resource. Okay. Click on close. Mm -hmm. Again tables. Click, no, no. Click on blob blob container. Let me see if it is in some uh your this issue or. No, don't don't create just uh, yeah just exp this one do the same error hmm. same error you cannot uh, resolve this issue anyone else who tried to connect anyone else yes i did same error for everything apart from file shares file shares uh, i am file connected i can we are not getting this okay close this let's try so so if i am connected i can see the table you can see the table. No, giving me the error for everything. For file share. Did you see the same for, method? For did you use the same method? Yeah, yeah, same error. But I didn't uh, use the HTTP to connect. Means okay. as it was written there, it's not recommended. So I didn't do that. Hmm. Now let's let's try doing that. Let's uh, let's go ahead and detach it. Right click, click on the plug sign again. Okay. Yeah. Storage. Select resource. Storage account, hmm. uh, connection string, key or sash. No account, account name, name key. right? Yeah, you, you have account, account name and key. Name. Click next. Click next. Okay. Hmm. Display name. Give some any name. Uh, new. Any write it new, so we'll at least know that this is a new account. Hmm. Account name. Account name. You chat. Yeah, copy paste. What about others? Anyone else? Salman, you were able to do it, right? Uh, yes, you were able to uh, I am, yes, I'm able to do it, but uh, I done the same thing. Like uh, I didn't check the uh, HTTP. HTTP. We will see that. We'll, we'll remove that. Let's see. Yes, Anyone I else, the, please? Uh, I did this process right now. I didn't uh, I unchecked the HTTP. Now it is working. 
edge working right okay i put the same key like, yeah next the, click on next connection key. click on next we we are doing the same process no, no changes we are just unchecking that box okay. we checked okay. it last use time HTTP. unchecking right uncheck the us use http yes connect yes now i guess we connect select the source close this now cancel this we have already connected right close this now cancel yes. okay okay now now the new one look at the new one yes click on table expand it yeah it's coming. now can you see this, click on any of coming. the table click on the azure batch a anyone these are all temporary table i've just created it for your practice click on any table wherever, wherever you want I mean, can you can you minimize this explorer so you'll see get to see the table actual table minimize the explorer more shorten the length shorten the length of yes. the explorer here yeah, this part mm -hmm. yes explorer shortened hmm. if you want to go back we can go back and again open the other tables like multiple tables in, in it, yeah that's this fine any table is fine but you should you you're not able to okay. see the table actual view uh, okay. and then scroll it down no. this one also clear the clear the view exactly so you'll see the table let all all of them yeah Okay, now guys, can you yep. see the table? Try to add an add an entry. Mm -hmm. Just click add at the above. Okay. Yes, click on add. Okay. okay, do do one thing. Cancel this. Cancel this. Cancel. I have one more thing to explain it to you guys. Miss Kobe cover kar deta completely. Cancel this also. I mean, close it from there. Close it. Close it. Okay. Close this close table. All. No, just close, close this table. Okay. Close this table. Here you'll see. Wait. Let me get the annotation. Wait. Here it is. Okay, from close this. From here. Close okay. this. Yes. Yeah. Close this one okay. also again. Yeah. Okay. Uh, go back to our storage table. Hmm. Storage table. Okay. And click on Azure below, below, below. Last, last hmm. table, last table. Hmm. Azure, Cloud. Azure yes, batch yes, file. Yes, yes. This is very It'll simple. It will be easier. Hmm. Uh, minimize this explorer. Minimize this explorer. Hmm. Okay. These two. Though this is yeah. not a part of Azure, guys, right? And this has nothing to do with your role. I'm still explaining it to you because you are here. Click on add. Click on add here. Click on add. You don't have to understand how it works. Database, kaise kaam kata, you don't have to understand. Still we are adding a table. You. We are adding a table. No, no we are adding an entry to the, the table. table. Yes, an entry. Write, write your name here. Table. Write your name here. Okay. I will. Yeah, yeah. Here. I'm, I'm, I'm okay. now, writing it. So, yeah. Okay. No, don't change. Don't don't change the property. Don't change the property. Name should be there. Yeah. Can, can you not see the annotation, guys? Can you see the annotation? Okay. Here. Oh, yeah. I could see. Okay. On the right. Yes. Okay. Yes. I could see it now. I could see it. Okay. I okay. was okay. under the impression there. Okay. okay. That that's okay. First name is fine. Role okay. anything. Okay. Azure admin implementation engineer AZ. Write anything. Any random. It's fine. Course okay. AZ one zero four one zero five. Whatever you want to write. Okay. experience one year two year whatever you want to write okay okay it says the name contains invalid character look at here two what is it experience would be zero two or it's okay it's okay why zero. mention anything that would not okay. okay now here the main key the, all this information guys it can be repeated okay i may have students with two years of experience multiple students all of the students, they, they are maybe they are doing 104, 305. Kuch bhi ho sakta hai. Repetition ho sakta hai. Role, definitely repetition ho sakta hai. Names, it can be done. If if I have a huge batch, I, I might see two people with same name, right? It doesn't matter. So how a database works. So these are the two keys which are unique, right? String and partition key. Now here type one under value type one. Row key, partition key. Partition, row okay. key one, partition okay. key one. Okay. One. Partition, partition key one. One. Okay. Hmm. okay. It, it says the name contains invalid character. Uh, remove the space from your name. Okay. Is there uh, any space okay. at the beginning? See. No. Okay. Delete. Delete space. that column. Let's delete that column. Here it is. You have an option to delete it. We just no. Delete. Cases, delete the I'm... entry. Delete the entry completely. Close it, delete the entry as in the name entry or yes, the entire? Yes, yes, yeah, delete that. Okay. Insert, insert it now. Add property. No, no, insert. Name, right? No, let it be, let it be. Now, delete it, delete uh -huh. it from here, delete it. Don't add any property. 
just hmm. there's a button called inserted the lower right hand corner oh down yeah okay okay key you tap on the right one. yeah uh. okay now read the error message no don't click okay guys in it wherever you see the error message do not be in a hurry to click okay message you will never ever understand what is the problem error if adding you... table entity entity yes what what does it say which entry is already error. there says entity already exist mm -hmm. something message uh, the specific or uh, the specified entity already exists mm -hmm. so it says the entity already exists but we remove the name uh, it's not about the name the okay click okay click okay. okay now change the partition key to three partition key to three up uh, partition yes key. first click and search partition key uh, so here it is so this is it guys this partition key and row key okay they have to be unique dono be ek one one ka combination hai so you are not able to use one one again two two ka combination you will not be able to use two and two ab one three kisi bhi tarah ka alag tarah ka combination you can do it rest these data it can be copied it can be duplicated it can be anything so at least there has to be one or two properties which are unique and then only your table will be useful but again this has nothing to do with azure admin ye data engineers ka kaam hai just wanted to show it to you while we are here on the table i wanted to just show it to you so is it clear guys how to access table yes okay yes, can sir. you cl close it so well, but uh, we can, like hi salman has left the partition key and row key blank we can keep it like without anything like just blank with no try one more entry with blank add or yeah. like when the row key is one in that like it is common to your row key yeah try try that partition See, key I, has I told to be you it has nothing to do with azure right if you want to mm -hmm. play with the database mm -hmm. it, it's okay just click it. just type one one word and hit and insert one word is enough one, one word is enough okay. it's okay it's okay now hit course. insert keep it okay, blank just, let it be okay we have both everything have course everything yeah. course yeah. okay okay insert okay can it you see it uh, error adding table entity Yes. Okay, it gives an error. The specified entity already exists, right? So blank is also an entry because mm -hmm. I did not have anything blank. He was able to add blank. Got okay. it? Okay. It cancels. He was able to add okay. blank because uh, because there was no blank ent entry earlier. Right. But now we can. Would, so uh, I would need. It's okay. It's okay, guys. Don't don't forth. don't waste your energy here. ये आपका काम नहीं है. No one is going to ask you. This is just okay, an okay, extra man. information I'm sharing with you. No one is going to ask you your database. Right, Sorry. so don't worry about it. Yes. What will be asked to you? How to hmm. share your table? Okay. Hmm. Now let me share my screen again. Yes. Can you guys see the screen? Yes. Yes, okay. we can see your screen. Right now, whatever I shared, I wanted to share table with you. But now, if you go to container, your container access has also been shared, which I did not want. So what can we do? You go to that table here. Okay. What has been shared with you? This complete storage account. Why? Because I gave you the access key from here. When I, I clicked here, I am under a storage account and this is the key I shared with you. This key I shared with you, right? This is the key. What if I want to access only a particular, uh, this one, a particular storage account, a particular table? how to do it so i'll show it to you before that why do we have two keys here anyone knows anyone can guess why do we have two keys here i mean why do we have two sets we have a key we have connection string everything why do we have two sets sorry for to make it highly available high. Oh uh, yes, in a way it's correct answer, but let me quickly explain it to you how it works. The, let's say that now I have shared it with Naved, okay? For practice only, but I have shared it with Naved. And now I realized here, इसमें तो मैंने अपने face details भी लिखे, बहुत सारा data लिख रखा है, and I did not want to share it with him. But अब मैंने share कर दिया already. What should I do now? I'll ask him, okay, I'll remove it, but I'm not sure whether he's gonna remove it or not. What can I do? And I have shared it with my other team also. A person who looks after fees and everything, I've shared it with him also. I cannot go ahead and simply delete it. Delete is not the option, right? 
I have shared this key with multiple people. They are doing their work, but by mistake, I've shared it with Naved also. And I want to revoke his access. What will I do? You will share uh, the second you key. Replace, with your replace the Beautiful. one with the new one. Yes. The second one key. Rotate Simply the key. First thing, you give this key to your existing users, whoever are the genuine users. Tell them keep this and you simply rotate the key. That's all. When you give this to them, okay, you give this to them and now they are able to access it, right? Yes, yes. But now it is also able to access it. Ye ki aisa nahi ki ek at a time chal Dono chal at, at a time. Now it has this key and my new batch has this key or my new my existing team, five people whom I actually wanted them to use this file. I'm just giving you examples, guys. Okay, there's nothing in this one now. It's okay, relax. You can have the complete access to this. Yes. Dummy data as well, right? Yes. So I'm sharing this with my new team or my existing team. And I'm asking them, okay, you access, mil gaya, sabko mil gaya, fine. Now I have, I know that everyone who are supposed to have the access, they have access. Now what I'm gonna do, I'll come and I'll replace this key, rotate this key. And the moment this key is rotated, now, if you check now with your access is gone. Aapka access abhi chala gaya hoga because I have rotated this key. And now if I want, I can share this key again with my new uh, existing user or I can let them be get he can use use Understood? Why do we have two key and what does it mean? The key rotation? Yes, sir. It's come, come, comes as, a, as an interview question. Exactly in words, many bhi hai if you remember, I have asked one question that what are the steps do you guys take to secure your storage account? This one you can add soft delete wagera was up kill up is kobi add kar sakte ho. that you follow Microsoft's recommendation and we rotate the key in every 90 days. Oh, sorry, 80 days. Clear? Eh? Yes, sir. Okay. Again, the question coming back to the actual question. Yapa hamne pura ka pura storage account share kar diya. I didn't want that. I wanted to share what I wanted to share the only table. So you go to table. So click here. Here's the access key. I don't have access key here. Let me see. Oh, sorry, access policy. No, you do, you don't get access key to this. Let me see where do you get access key. Take it table ke liye aapko directly storage account ka share karna. Now who who asked the question that why do we have it? Uh, Murtaza, right? Now you understand yes. ki aap ek storage account make service kyu rakte ho? Yes, because table doesn't give you the access key. It's not going to access key ka option. Let me see that storage account will give you access key. Ha, here it is. Containers will give you the access key. If I want to use the container, use kar pao, I can do that. Access key may have to be able to do If I click on this one, this container, and if I click here under access key. And now if I share the access key with you, where is the access key? Here it is. I don't see it on container also. Shared as access key is something different. Okay, well, we are, we are coming to this. Shared access token says it's a different thing. It's not as good as your key. This is a different thing. We, we will come to that. So don't get confused with shared access signature. SAS, they call it. They, they may ask you difference between access key and SAS. So uh, access key and access policy are different things? Ha, policy though altogether different. We'll come to that. That is the reason I didn't even touch that. Oh, confusion you see. It's a small topic, but policy is a different thing. Access key is something you're sharing to access. Policy is to control karne ke liye koi policy. Bana rahe ho. Pisi access key ko control karne ke liye policy. Bana rahe ho. Now look at this. Under storage account, you have access key and you have shared access signature also. Similarly, I want to see access key or kis kis pe hai. What is shared access signature? I'll, I'll teach it to you tomorrow. We hardly have one minute and it's, it's a huge one. Can you see? Kya kya options hai? What does it mean? I'll, I'll, I'll look at this. I just want to see ki access key or kahin pa dikh kya. Or is it only the storage account where we will have access key? If I don't get it now within a minute, you guys look at this search and share the information with me also. Meanwhile, I'll also search. Access key mil raha hai kya par. Just 
generate SaaS. SaaS is different, guys. Okay, don't come up with SaaS. Okay, so only less than a minute is left, guys. We'll stop the session today. Tomorrow we are going to cover uh, this access key. We'll see exactly कहाँ पर available है, कहाँ पर नहीं है. We'll start with this. How to access container? How to access table? We have already covered differences between shared access uh, signature and access key, and how to access file share. And then it should be enough for us for, for us the storage account. If you have any oh, questions, okay. guys, uh, please go ahead read it, and we'll uh, address them tomorrow. Thank you, See you guys. Tomorrow, same time. Thank you. Bye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.